October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and kicking it off last Saturday was Hope Fest. The annual Walk, formerly known as the Walk for Hope, supports the Alexander House and the many services it provides to victims of abuse. CTN's Dan Carpenter reports from Bunker Hills. Anoka County's only shelter for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault says a serious problem is only getting worse. What we've seen in the last five years, I would say, and, and, and it seems to be um, picking up, is the number of Anoka County families that are using our emergency shelter. Molly, I found a loose one. It's really For the 14th year, families gathered in part to offer financial support to Alexandra House. Hope Fest raises funds for the shelter and the numerous other services it offers to support women and children. On-site therapy services, support groups. Services that can help a family rebuild their lives. Hope Fest is much more than a fundraiser for Alexandra House. It's an opportunity to address the growing problem of sexual and domestic violence. Many of these runners and walkers return every year to support someone they've lost or to raise awareness in the community. So my sign on my back says in honor of 4,000 missing and murdered indigenous women. Hope Fest puts a spotlight on the problem. This year alone, we've already lost 11 people to domestic violence in Minnesota. And it works to create an environment where those who need the services of Alexandra House feel comfortable to do so. This is affecting our, our friends, coworkers, family members, um, people who are very important cl and close to us. Um, so we want to make sure that uh, this isn't something that uh, that's hidden or kind of pushed off. Uh, we, we need to bring it to light. Don Rung. Age 25. Silhouettes of women and children lost to domestic Shiloh. violence represent those who can no longer speak. Shyla Movid. But through events like this, Susan Marie Corda, they still have a voice. Alexandra House can't fight this problem ourselves. This is something that we need the community to take ownership in and to do something about. Dan Carpenter for CTN Update. The Alexander House says it's looking into expanding its current 35-bed shelter to house more families and offer more privacy and comfort.